Tom Matthews here from uh, Matthews Engineering. Uh, we're going to show a little more of what's going on with this uh, CNC retrofit on the, a uh, surface grinder. Uh, this is a, a Mindy Freeport grinder. I've got a, a DD CSV 2.1 uh, stepper motor controller installed on it, and it looks like it's going to be uh, pretty useful. Uh, but what I'm going to show right now is show it doing um, uh, some motion and also it can do coordinated diagonal motion or any angle you want uh, and it looks like it's pretty well coordinated and I even have it do a GO2 and uh, draw a circle uh, with backlash correction it makes a pretty nice circle uh, let me show you what the setup here looks like uh, let's come on over and take a look at it um, here's the, um, the setup so I've got a, a pen in here and uh, it's about a tenth inch off the paper right now um, it's just a ballpoint pen. It does flex a little bit, so a little bit of the backlash that I'm seeing, I'm not sure if it's from the pen flexing um, or from the axis motion, although I've confirmed the axis motion is pretty accurate. I've been able to do that because I also have a, a, a DRO with you know glass scales, so I, I know when the axis motion is accurate or not. Um, okay, let's go ahead and let this run. One of the things I'm going to show when it's running too I've taken the uh, safety cover off of this y-axis control. The backlash on the y-axis is the greatest on this machine and you'll see it um, reverse that when it gets to the bottom of drawing this circle. But let's go ahead and get in here and look. I'm going to go ahead and hit start. Um, you'll see the pen come down. It's going to do some linear motion. Just going to draw a one inch square box. Some GO1s, uh, you know, GO1X and GO1Y. Here's the uh, diagonal motion, so that's a 45 degree line. And now it's doing the coordinated both axes to draw a circle, both axes at the same time. And of course, this machine does not have ball screws on the X and Y axis. Um, you wouldn't really need it on a surface grinder. But, uh, and nor would you be likely to do a diagonal motion or a circle on a surface, surface grinder. But um, if I wanted to, I could. And a friend of mine pointed out, hey, you could put swirls, swirl patterns and things. And I have seen cases where diagonal motion is called for on a surface grinder. You can see the circle coming out. watch some of the axis motion. We'll see when that circle gets to the top of it there, you'll see the backlash correction on the circle. Here's the two axes moving coordinated. And that's, this is what the, uh, that's what the x-axis looks like. That was the top of the, did you see the backlash correction there? So that, that was the reversal. Um, this x-axis, I've got a bearing in here. I can disengage it in case I want to use the grinder in manual mode. But let's see how our circle, diagonal line, and square are doing up here. Should finish up the lift. All right, so there's a little bit of the, the circle didn't end exactly. I'm not sure if that's due to the pin flexing. This pin flexes a little bit in there. It's not the best setup. I could probably improve that. But I'm still delighted with the results here. Um, Again, this is uh, Tom Matthews from Matthews Engineering with uh, DDCSV 2.1 uh, retrofit on a grinder.